this guy brought in a big stack of records. There's all sorts of stuff. I had a quick flick through as I do, but I didn't really go through. I was kind of just like, whatever. I said, how much do you want for them? He goes, oh, just 50 bucks. I was like, okay, cool. So I pulled 50 bucks out. He left, I went off and did a few other things, came back and then decided to go through the stack properly. And about halfway through, I pulled out Love Supreme. And I'm like, okay, that's cool, interesting. Like, as you do, out of intrigue, I started checking the cat number and I realized that it was the second pressing, supposedly worth about four or 500 bucks. Oh, hey there. I'm Tom Study from Midnight Swim and you're watching Craig Diggers Australia. The first record I ever bought was uh, this basic equipment compilation, which is a compilation of Australian hip hop. The artwork is done by Surek from Deathwish Cast fame, but also um, he was part of Celsius, which are featured on this comp. Yeah, this one um, I bought when I was in year nine, and there's a funny story attached to it. I was on a school excursion, and I actually left the school excursion temporarily to go up to this shop that I knew sold hip hop records. And I had 20 bucks in my pocket. Can you just give me the best thing that I can get for this? And he gave that to me. And then I went back and joined up with the excursion. And everyone was like, what are you doing with this thing in your hand? And I said, oh, I just found it on the side of the road. And so this, um, this sort of sparked my love of Australian hip hop and, and, and music in general. Yeah, one record in particular that's changed my musical taste is this one from uh, Bobito Garcia, AKA Cool Bob Love. And it's called Music of the Latin Diaspora. And it was really the first introduction that I had to to music that was from different parts of the world. When I say different parts of the world, I'm talking about what I would say outer national sounds, so Africa, Latin America. So the key tracks on this is there's a Charles Eland track, Aquarius, um, Beat Fanatic cooking. It's a sample based thing that he chopped up, like South American, like Latin little thing. Um, and another record that changed the, the course of my musical direction is this one from Madlib, Shades of Blue. That's Madlib delving into the Blue Note catalog. When this came out, it definitely changed my musical direction to be deeper into jazz. So some of the key tracks on this one definitely would be Slim's Return. That actually had a really cool film clip. Mystic Bounce, for sure. Uh, what else have we got on here? Montara is another really good one. Pretty much it's all killer, no filler. So, but yeah, those three are probably my faves. Uh, my most obscure record is this one. It's um, Arabic. I think it's probably a call to prayer. I don't actually know the name of it or who it's by because I can't, can't actually translate it. And um, there's no information on this online. Yeah, so here's one of the ones that I got when I was in Cork recently. Um, just a really nice boogie cut on the Street Wave label, which is a really good label for this kind of sound. Uh, I'll be a freak for you. I got it for a really nice price. Um, of this, um, another one, yeah, Keep In Touch, Body To Body. Another really good boogie cut. All right, um, so I'm going through the jazz section here. Big staple, Lonnie Liston Smith, Loveland. The one on this one for me is Journey Into Love, but it's definitely an amazing record and, and most of the album is classic material. This one here from Lord Shorty called Sweet Music. So it's a Calypso dance floor joint. Um, it's been comped a few times, but this is an OG copy. And um, yeah, definitely heavy, heavy dance floor sounds that you'll hear anyone that's into outer national tropical music play. All right. Yes, of course, um, Children of Zeus, big ups to those guys coming out of Manchester in the UK. In my opinion, the dudes that are probably doing it the most right in the pocket of the sound that they're operating in. Um, this is the EP, this is the album that dropped not long ago. You'd call it soul hip hop, um, but these guys are definitely on another level and, and ones that you should check out if you like that kind of sound. This one's probably the record that I've paid the most amount of money for. Um, I gotta give a shout out to my man Mike who actually put me onto this one. Um, I actually don't wanna disclose the exact amount. The Nick Stracker band, Space Age, which is just a, an all time save the party kind of vibe. If you're, if you're in doubt, you can drop this in the dance floor and it'll definitely pull things back together. Recommended. This one right here from man like Steve Spacek. Originally from the UK, he's been living in Australia for a long, long time and somebody that I can call a good friend. An awesome bite on side label. This is uh, one of the 12s that he put out 2017 uh, called Follow Me. Amazing tune. Big up Steve Spacek. Uh, one from George Ben that I really love. This one's called Forca Bruta. And I'm probably actually bastardizing that because my Portuguese isn't great. 
Um, so yeah, Obla Love M Ella. A1 is definitely the one for me. This is uh, more traditional Brazilian sounds on the kind of folky tip. I uh, worked in a record store many, many years ago and one of the guys that worked there put me onto this. It's a great record. One of my favorites. Yeah, this one's pretty self-explanatory for those that are into the broken beat sound. It's the Bugs in the Attic flip of the Four Hero track, Hold It Down. Yeah, it's an absolute staple if you're gonna play that sound. This one's particularly special to me because my fiance bought it for me. She did a whole heap of research and this is actually supposedly Giles Peterson's favorite Sunday jazz record. And there's a track on here called Faceless Woman. Uh, the artist is Arthur Blythe. It's a really special record and it holds a lot of importance and relevance to me and it's something that I'll always love. So Midnight Swim, I'm one half of that with Mike Hu. We're basically a record label, party series, um, bit of an agency. Done a lot of tours, people like Bradley Zero, um, Geology, Alexander Nutt and Fatima, Source 81 and Groove Man Spot from Japan. Essentially what we're trying to do is just push music that we feel is a little bit underrepresented but also representative of our taste. So in a way it's me putting a little bit back and um, now that I actually put records out myself I know the effort and the time and the money that it takes to do that so all of my record collection is basically um, a way of making sure that that keeps, keeps on going and keeps on moving. If I am a collector to an extent, but it's not about the prizes or the trophies. For me, it's about knowing that what I'm doing has more meaning than just simply having a piece of music. That's <laughs> 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 That's the money, that's the money. We're good there. All right, cool. <laughs>